So with more getting this, the more it makes sense to do the front bumper as well, which means I definitely got to get the lights out of the way. First, you got to figure out how to unhook them. See, I just can't get my. There's a latch there to unhook the, the lamp. There you go. And they're not halogens, thankfully. Halogens, if you touch them with any kind of oil, you gotta clean them with alcohol, or as soon as they heat up, they burn out. I mean, literally, this glass blows out. It's just a good old incandescence. Days I actually open up that manual I bought. So that was a turning lamp. The actual headlamp is a halogen. And actually, dirt's okay. It's oil that screws it up, especially oil. Especially oil from the human skin. First crew was in theater, and the theatrical lights are all halogen. They've got, they're starting to go to LED now, but especially for your spot type of units, they're still halogen based. And always tell the younger techs when they changed out the lamps because you have to break the lamp out the inside of the post because the glass would bubble up around it Come on, that's a really sucker I'm gonna drop that there I heard something fall Come on baby let her go There we go. Maybe we'll put that somewhere safe. One more lamp in there, but I'm more concerned about how this is actually mounted. Because the bumper is flexible around it. This is more hard mounted. here it's a plastic bolt on the other side it looks like it's hard mounted underneath well I'll tell you what I think I'm gonna clamp my tools call it a night and actually look at the manual Looks like there's a mount right here, another one down in here that need to come off to actually get the headlights off. But to be able to get to the one down here, this cowling is going to have to come off.
There we go. And then I get a wider screwdriver to pop that out. I want to keep the lamps in here, the halogen, so I don't have to worry about them getting dirty. There we go. One of the other things I want to do is this is really oxidized. See if I can buff that out. Uh, just cut, kids can get it like Walmart for that. And see with these, you can with these units here, you can actually adjust the the aim of your beams. And these are locked in, so I don't want it to mess with that. So that's actually not too bad to work on. Yeah, same drill on this side. You. So the turn light, you do got to pop that out. That's okay because it's just an old incandescent. And the regular beam and high beam, just pop these guys off. Boom. Now, ironically, the manual I have doesn't show actually how to get the bumper off. But as soon as that gets me a lot closer to getting there, you can see it's got mounts there. Let's we'll pull those off and see how far we get. Is this a little bit slower, but I think it'll get there faster. Yeah, I'm on the right track.
top off of it. Put the rest of it. Try and get it out. But if it did, just force it out of the pit, cut any nips, replace it, it's just a little plastic bit. Down below, they're tying the bottom of that in. The bottom of the bumper in with air intake. I want to get that off before I do that last bolt. And I broke it off. Let's see what this side is. Interesting. So this is some kind of screw on piece. I'm just going to break those off and replace them. These are two people, but oh well. There we go. Beauty. Where'd that bolt go? I'll have to hunt around for the bolt. And as you can see, now I got the front of the car off. So, that's going to be it for this video. It's hot in here. So, next I'm going to pop the front wheels back on, dry this out. Give the engine a power wash before I really get into starting to play this stuff here. I'll probably do the, the cooling system next, so it makes more sense. But we'll call it a day. <gasps>